of what it's like here. You know, you never know uh, when you just watch games on TV. Um, you know, what I can affect is what's going to happen next year and the year after that. And we're going to have, we're going to, we're going to put it, you know, our stamp on the culture that we want. And it's going to be, it's going to be joy. It's going to we, we, our players are going to like coming into practice every day. We're going to play a brand of basketball that, the, you know, the LA fans will appreciate. Uh, we're going to compete um, all these things going forward it, it, with my vision of how we're going to do things is what I can control. I don't know how that will be different from the previous two years because I wasn't in here for those years. Um, but, yes, there's going to be an emphasis on, on the culture going forward, and that's, you know, and that's going to be up to us and the staff that we bring in uh, to hold the, the guys accountable and, and make them want to be a part of that. Yo, it's your boy D-Star coming to you live from the pad. About to give it to you raw. And I'm about to keep it 1,000, man. I, I, you guys just seen Luke Walton. Uh, you can get the whole clip. And if, you, if you go to the Los Angeles Times page. And it, uh, it's like 28 minutes worth of uh, Luke Walton talking. But what I, what I mainly got from it was uh, he's going to implement whatever he had going on with the Warriors, he's going to implement that with the Lakers. I don't know if the Lakers have that type of talent. I don't, but it a lot of that depends on free agency. I really like how he hired Brian Shaw. I have no idea about this other guy that he's allegedly hired. I think it's the Toronto Raptors. I'm not sure what the guy's name is, or I forgot what team he's, he's with, but, um, you know, he seemed a little glib, seemed a little bit nervous, but that's natural. He's very, very young, very eager, really um, ready to take on the job and try to fix this mess. Uh, I, I'm, I'm rooting for him. Want to see him do well. But I predict we'll win anywhere as constituted if he gets the, the youth anywhere from 32 to 35 games because that depends if he if, if he gets nobody else in free agency but we'll get into that later on also um did you guys check out that d'angelo russell commercial i i personally liked it i laughed i thought it was funny um <laughs> you know nick young didn't appreciate it let me let me uh put this the, the clip up there you can see that he just he doesn't appreciate that he says real funny you know because he's a little bit salty he has this situation with Iggy Azalea Iggy Azalea dumped him took his six fold through allegedly through all his stuff out there and you know you go into um, TMZ for all of that shout out to Julius Randall for getting engaged to his girl wish him um, success with that but uh, it was really funny to me. It was, it was, you know, my thing is we just got to get Nick Young off the team. If nothing else, just basketball reasons. It's just, it's, it's just, it's just not a good look right now. Um, ben Simmons. News with Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. The Sixers have confirmed, allegedly, allegedly they have confirmed, as you see in this tweet right here. They have confirmed that Ben Simmons will be dr drafted the number one pick overall. So like I said in the video before, it really didn't mean anything. The guy automatically knew he was going to be the number one pick overall. He knew it. So that's why he was just calm and relaxed like, and everybody was sensationalizing it. Kevin Hart talking about all this mess when the guy the guy already knew okay I'm, I'm going to get drafted by the 76ers so uh, <laughs> we also have this um screenshot that i'm gonna go to okay and basically you know what you see on the screenshot is 
this guy, he's talking about, you know what, um, you heard it from me first. Uh, the Lakers are going to select Buddy Hill. Real suspect. Uh uh. That's, that's not happening. I, I just don't see the Lakers picking no Buddy Hill over no Brandon, Brandon Ingram. It's, that's just. Come on. You know, I, I don't know what kind of workout, and what, from what they said the workout was, it wasn't that. Wasn't that. Like just blowing the roof off of the workout or anything like that but yeah it's gonna be a lot of bullshit I, I, I tweeted this out it's gonna be a lot of bullshit uh, between now and Thursday it's gonna be a lot of guys oh I, I got the scoop on this I heard this I know that nobody knows nothing until nobody knows nothing until draft day when the draft actually happens also Stephen A threw some stuff out there you saw that, that, that okay you saw that the, the Cleveland Cavaliers won even I was wrong I thought that the Warriors was going to win at least game 7 proved me wrong uh, kind of just weird it just sort of just happened and uh, LeBron got that ring he was hella petty. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this picture up. He was hella petty. Okay, this was. This right here is just passive aggressive. Yes, I see why you guys hate him. Super, super duper passive aggressive. Has a Kermit the Frog uh, sipping a tea. And he has uh, a shirt that says Ultimate Warrior. Uh, I, you know, I guess paying respects to the. The, the legendary wrestler, uh, the Ultimate Warrior. Some of you cats that grew up in the 80s know, know what I'm talking about. So, it was just petty. You know, it's kind of like, you, you could have celebrated. You you know, you could have celebrated. But, hey man, I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of petty. It was like, come on LeBron, you, you already got your ring. Man. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta rub it in, 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 in the Warrior's face. But, Okay, so let's get to the Stephen A. situation. Mike and Mike sent out a tweet. And the tweet basically says, as you guys can see, that um, Stephen A. Smith was saying that it's not out of the realm of possibility in free agency that LeBron may consider going to either the Lakers or Miami. But this has been said before. If you could search on, just search on YouTube, Back in 2014, um, he was saying some stuff like, oh, LeBron might come to the Lakers. Or, but um, this stuff always happens around free agency. I don't think that the brother's lying. I mean, he's, he's a, he's a well-respected journalist when it comes to sports. But, you know, if, he gets, if he's wrong about it, it's not really no big deal because they say a lot of things. So uh, if he did come to the Lakers, I... It'd be a lot of Laker fans would be like, hell no. But I tell you, I, I'm, I won't be the one that's sitting up here protesting to get him out. If he throwing a Laker jersey, I'm all behind LeBron. So, yeah, so that's that. Um, it's your boy, D-Star. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.